Go ahead and tell us about, uh, this is Gerald Huth, who will be in the gallery uh, in October, November, December, and this is a brand new piece, so go ahead and tell us about this, Gerald. Okay, um, well it's part of a whole series I'm doing. Uh, I did some drawings on this last trip to India of my temple, a place called Badami in South India, and they were rounded groups of figures. I've always been working with the groupings of figures and how figures relate, and it's a third and fourth century temples. And I do a lot where I, I take things from other cultures and other civilizations. I feel that the artists of those times have left something behind for all of us who follow to learn from. And so it was this group of figures here, and then I've just improvised on the original drawings. Oh, and beautiful. And I work with the diamond shape a lot with the circle. I feel it gives it more energy. It's uh, more of an outward reaching form. This is called whatever lies outside. And it's, it's a sense of reaching out rather than closing in the way the, the rectangles and squares do with, uh, with circles. And I do a lot with the circle form. And for me, it just symbolizes everything in life. All cultures have used it. Yeah. Uh, sun, the moon, circle of life, earth. Uh, it's always been used in that. Wow. And so I, what I do is I start with the sketch, use your charcoal drawing, then I have maybe five or six different papers that get cut out yeah. and used there, and then they're all glued on, and then it's oh, worked yeah. over with pastel and charcoal and watercolor and spray paint. Just neat. And you have to know when to stop. <laughs> so it's very uh, technique-driven kind of work, and you really have to know when to let go. Yeah.